Hello Year 9 pupils, your parents or carers. It's Mr. Campbell here from Lee Manor High School. Um, I'm the assistant head teacher overseeing Pathways this year. And um, this presentation, we're gonna go through all the information for you um, and also send it out so we are. So what is Pathways? Pathways is whenever you decide what your courses you're gonna take in year 10 and year 11. And um, it's really important that you think about this, you reflect on what you've done and also what things you would like to do in the future. Obviously due to COVID-19, we would usually do this process in school um, and you would have loads of support from the staff and from our career advisors in school. Um, but we will be doing this process all online. We will have a booklet um, that we will give to you online. Also, there will be a careers panel that we'll be doing through a webinar. Um, and we're also going to provide you with contact details so you can talk to the subject leaders um, through email to have any questions regarding that. This booklet here will be um, attached so it will be on our website so you will be able to have a look through this and this is the best booklet to give the most um, information about all the subjects um, and all the choices that we have got. In this booklet you will find that there will be um, stuff on the core subjects, the EBAC, the GCSE, our technical subjects and also our supportive stuff. There's some messages there from um, our head teacher and also from our head of Key Stage 4 and also there's some and careers guidance as well. Um. Our pathways choices is what everybody will be doing. So every pupil in Lee Manor will study English language, English literature, mathematics and combined science. This will be at GCSE level. You will also be studying PE and PSHE, um, but they are not examined. As well as all those subjects, you will then choose four other subjects to study and that will make up your key stage four curriculum. Pathway one, and will be what we will, what we follow for the EBAC. So that will be our English, your maths, your science. You will then choose a humanities subject, that will be geography or history, and then you would choose a modern foreign language, um, which would be French or Spanish. You then would have two open options. This pathway would be suited for those pupils who would like to go on to uh, complete A-levels, a sixth form college, and then a degree at university. Pupils who have excelled in your core subjects um, would really suit this pathway. Pathway two is what mo the majority of pupils in our school will follow. Um, this pathway is for our GCSE courses and also our GCSE equivalent courses. So you will do English, Maths and Combined Science as we talked about, but you would choose one EBAC subject and then your other options would be what we call open options, which means you would have a choice of any of the other ones. And this pathway has breadth and academic challenge and means that all the doors are still open if you'd like to go into further education or vocational study. Our pathway three is for, the, for a small amount of pupils who actually study in nine GCSEs is not, uh, does not meet their needs. Um, and we will be in touch with you for this pathway. You will do some extra English and extra math lessons, as well as doing basic skills and um, some customer service uh, vocational courses as well. Uh, but we will get in touch with you if we think that this is the best pathway for you. All of our course overviews will be in the booklet and that's where you will get all the information about each of the courses. Which courses you should choose Please have a read through this. I'll just quickly go over a couple. What you should not do is choose a course because your friend is, choose a course because someone wants you to do it, or choose a course because you like a teacher, because all of that can change. So please be really rational whenever you're thinking about which courses you're doing. Also, we don't choose two courses that are very, very similar. So for example, product design and engineering, you would only choose one of those courses, as well as art and, and photography. And that keeps the breadth for your key stage four curriculum. Please be resourceful and be talking to your learning lead through email, your parents, your carers, your subject teachers, your dean, uh, and also your own research that we'll talk you through now. The qualifications we offer are GCSEs and technical awards, and this is just a description that you'll get about each of them, um, but they are all equivalent to GCSE for whenever you're going to college. Your next steps is your pupil activity one, where you'll be going, you'll be researching what you would like to do in the future and what subjects you would need to actually get onto maybe those courses in college or in university, um, or it might be what apprenticeships you would need, what subjects you need for those apprenticeships. So that's gonna be one of the activities that you're gonna do. You're then gonna name of the course, and then you're gonna put what subjects are required for that course. 
Pupil activity two is to look at the subjects you're interested in and write notes about those subjects. Uh, what things do you like about them? What things maybe you need this some clarity on? Then what we'd like you to do is put in some questions that you would like to ask um, and we will answer those questions whenever we do the webinar um, to all of our year nine pupils, parents or carers. In the booklet, you will find contact details for every single one of the course leaders down the right hand side. And we also have some careers advice or just any other questions you have on pathways at leemanor.luton.sch.uk. And this is all in the booklet. Important dates for you is the Pathways goes live today um, and then pupils you are to complete your activities one and two between today and the 6th of May. Those activities will go up on your Google Classroom year group. You can then contact course leaders anytime from again today to the 6th of May for any questions you might have. We'll be having our careers panel on the 7th of May where we'll be answering all the questions that you've had. You will then um, be choosing your pathways online and that will take us up to the 14th of May. From the 14th of May, as a staff and body, we will work on those choices and try and get you everything that you've done. You, we will then contact um, you if there's any issues with that or we need to talk about other subjects. Um, and then you should be able to find out your final choices on the 1st of June, um, which gives you some time to do some more research about that. Obviously on that, we will also be asking you to pick a reserve. The reserve is really important because there is a chance that you might have to do your reserve subjects just simply down to timetable. That's all the information we have for you today. Um, please go online onto the website and you'll find all the links um, to the documents that you need to complete everything that went through today. Thank you.